this week is Town Hall 10. And they have to do these Town Hall 10 attacks here with no advanced level troop types or levels here from only Town Hall 10 donating to Town Hall 10. That means no Siege Machine. Our matchup is Noob Scarlet taking on a lot of the players from the Queen Walkers on the other side here. So we have some Valkyries starting us off here. Valkyries are such an underused troop here in Town Hall 10, but when Siege Machines are removed from the competition, Valkyries seem to make a little bit of a comeback here, especially when used in a in a Falcon style attack like this, where he makes the queen just clear out one section of the base there. The king cuts off down the line and he tries to get the Valkyries to attack the wall and go inside of the base here, but he's already struggling a little bit there. But oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe he's okay. The queen will finish taking out the buildings over the wall here. The wall break on the far left side of the base there lets him into the base here as Noob Scarlet takes on. Who is the uh, defender here? I know it's, uh, I think it's the leader of GS on the other side there, playing with those Queen Walkers players. But the Valkyries get supported by the Bowlers. The heal spell. The healers are hitting some black bombs as they ran through. But they do transfer over. We need to get back to the town hall eventually. But he's got a couple of hogs that he can also have support here. Big Tessa farm up to the top of the base there with the defensive king as well. The bullet bounce is not hitting that single inferno up top. So he starts to take some damage there. The king and the Valkyries broke off to the middle of the base. And the Bowlers go there as well. He needs to get into the single inferno, though. If he gets the single inferno, he's in a really, really strong spot. And I, I think we have another live attack here. I'm going to quickly just bounce out of this for a moment and see what the other one is. It is Solitude up at the top there. I just want to see what he's using. Looks like it is a Queen Charge Lala. We'll come back to that after we see what the result of the Valkyrie attack is. But the Valkyries continue to make their way towards the single for the top of the base here. But the Queen gets targeted by the single. He's never getting access into it. He's got some bullets, but they're stuck behind a wall. The King broke a good wall so they can walk their way out. I don't think he's going to make it. Town 10 is more difficult than Town Hall 15. And it really, it's one of the most difficult formats in all of Clash of Clans. And so triples will be rare here. That one is going to be a defense by the looks of it. But let's bounce over here. And let's see how this Queen Charge into Lalo is going. He charged through the Inferno by the Town Hall. And was able to take the Town Hall out on his way with the Queen Charge. Fought off the defensive CC. He's got a jump spell that'll probably carry him towards the other multi-Inferno. But the defensive Queen is standing up on the top edge there. He does open up the queen's compartment as well, but the queen, I don't know where, which way she's gonna ultimately go. Notice how he waits to use the jump spell until the queen clears all the things that she can reach from the compartment that she's in because these jump spells of Town 10 are not going to last forever. So you need to make sure that you get as much out of it as possible. The queen quickly steps her way in, will lock onto the multi-inferno, and he's down to a minute. I mean, I said quickly, but He's got a minute to perform this Lalo. He does reach the Queen on the back of the base here. He still has his ability attack here. He's got lots of spell support, but he needs to move fast on this Lalo to have a chance to pull through. His Queen pops her ability finally. We'll start to work out some of these internal defenses. He swarms the balloons into all the perimeter defenses across the right and top edge of the base there. And Queen will take out the Expo as well. Saving those balloons here. Get the Wizard Tower down, gets the Teslas down. He can surge his way off to the left side of the base. So the Queen will go into cleanup. He's got the freezes. Use them. Save the balloons. You need to have as many balloons alive here for cleanup as possible. Oh, come on. Use your freezes. Use your freezes, Solitude. Oh, man. All right. It looks like our boys over on the Queen Walker's side are going to have a defense here. It is a time fill. It was a very nice attempt. But it's not going to happen. It's really solid percentage, though. And the final attack of the other one was a nine, or an 87% here. So that sets the stage here for this Town Hall 10 Cup. As we start through this first open qualifier. Striking next will be a defending world champion. It's Gaku, who plays in the Queen Walkers. He is paired on his roster with stars and... Klaus as well playing in this Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 10 competition here. But Gaku gonna be making his way across the bottom of the base here. He's got the Pekka Smash. And the healers are getting targeted there for just a moment. The other attackers that will be in this competition on this team are going to be Chichin and then the leader of GS. Which I don't know their name. It's a Japanese name, and he never has an English name on his uh, on his accounts. But <laughs> but he does get the queen to engage the defensive king, and drops in the 
Pekka is at the bottom of the base here. Down comes the bowlers. The witches can work on the outside with the king. Notice how the witches are always going to be deployed so that they don't make a near pass to a multi-inferno. You're going to always keep your witches away from multi-inferno. That's why when we do the witch attacks there, we always zap out the multi-infernos whenever possible. But zap witches is honestly one of the most powerful talented attacks here. But seeing as seed machines are not allowed, it is very difficult to be able to get that attack to work here. So the Pekka smash is a just an incredible alternative here. He's going to get the Pekka to go all the way up the middle base here. Jump into the backside Inferno. And the King was able to wall break into the right side compartment with the Witches and Wizards over there. Supported. He's looking really good here. The Pekka needs to tank that Expo. Oh man, that Expo is doing a little bit of damage there. But he's, he's hanging on. He's doing fine. His... King's Barbarians will be able to break the wall, and the Pekkas are going the distance, guys. He's got the triple. Gaku gets one done. The first triple of the war here, and on that side with the Queen Walkers players. We got the Yash attack coming in for the next one. The Yash attack. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Uh, we got a bunch of lightning to set up a Lalo here, taking out an air defense, an expo, a wizard tower, and an archer tower. Lightning sets up for the heroes to drive him for the right side. They will get the defensive queen down and also pull and fight the defensive CC. Other side of the base here has two single infernos. I do like this approach here. They definitely need a triple to make up for the one they just received there. And they need a defense as well somewhere. So we see other attacks going live while this is going on. They are not under an attack schedule. So they're going to overlap attacks here all throughout the war here. There's nothing we can do about it. Queen able to power through the defensive CC with the help of that poison. Got through the Witch and the Baby Dragon without any issues at all. Blooms make their way to the air defense here. He's got good anchor points here, but the single infernos pop his hounds relatively fast. And so that's something that he's just going to have to deal with as he makes his way through. But he's got the heal spell as he goes in the last couple of defenses. More tests is popping on that left side. Air defenses are holding the line here pretty strong. If he doesn't get this area down, it is going to be a one star. He's putting everything into this attack. He's going to push his way through the single. Come on, get this air defense down. He's got a couple of pops there in the area. Gets the single down. His queen's still alive on the bottom of the base here. The balloons overwhelm the air defense. And the queen will pick off the last arch tower. It's a triple. Yash gets it done. Or new Scarlet. But back over the other side here. Here is the leader of GS. Coming in with a hog attack here. And no, wait. It was a P.E.K.K.A. attack. He's got a couple hogs on the back side to support. He's not out of this yet. He needs those archers to turn north. Pekkas will go left. Okay, that's okay. Maybe get the Pekkas into tanky position. And they can sneak in there and grab out these last couple of defenses. But the archers need to circle around. If they go through the middle base, it's going to get them pinned. They're going to go in the middle. That's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. There comes the hogs. As soon as he has all the defenses tanked. But the Pekkas is going to pick up the... Or gonna, the first Peck is going to die. And transfer the defenses over to the archers. It doesn't go to the... Hog, but the hog does get targeted, and this is going to be the defense that they needed. But wait, ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Pekka's still alive. Tanking. Gets the mortar down. Gets the archer tower down. Is that weakened? No, it's not. That's going to be the defense that holds the line here. And so we do end up seeing a defense on this attack. Nice try. 98%. Town Hall 10 NYA. Is this Klaus or is this Chichen? I'm not sure if this is Klaus or Chichen here, but he's going to zap out the defensive queen and the inferno together in the middle of the base there. You need what? Five lightning for that? I think you need five or maybe even six lightning. Is this Nairomi? Maybe it's Nairomi. I thought this... Somebody told me that uh, Chichen and Klaus are on this team here, so that, that looks like Nairomi. Okay, okay. Nairomi is the leader of GS. Oh, okay. Then, <laughs> then the other one, the other one that already went through was probably Chichen in that, in that, uh, okay. Okay. I just lost. <laughs> Wait, who's that? Which one is Klaus then? I don't know which one is Klaus and which one is Chichen then. Yeah. <laughs> Curry's on the team. Ah, okay. Did, uh, did Gaku tell me? Well, either way, I I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted here. Nairomi, the leader of GS, striking with a massive kill squad here and able to go all the way in and takes out all the buildings from the edge of the base there all the way to the middle where he used the lightning. Now the Lalo comes in behind the sweepers here and is going to make his way across towards the town hall. 
He's got more balloons dropping the top of the base there with another Lava Hound up there as well coming out of his offensive CC. The Hound is going to cross through. You go ahead and freeze it up. It took up all of the red air bombs around the town hall and then bursts and clears any additional traps over the other side. There are more red air bombs are going off, but he's looking really, really solid here. He's got another haste. He's got another freeze. He can lock up these back end defenses all together here, but the Hounds are still live crossing through. I'd like to see the freeze under the Wizard Tower and the air defense there, but the Archer Tower is a viable target as well. Oh! Or he can just throw it down swag because they've got the triple on this one. Nice job to J Nairomi here, the leader of GS. TKR War is currently in the advantage of the Japanese team here. Noob Scarlet coming in with a Queen Charge into Mass Baby Dragons. Queen Charge into Mass Baby Dragons is honestly one of the strongest Town Hall 10 attacks when you remove Siege Machines from the equation. But the goal of this attack here is going to be to use every single spell that you have to charge this Queen in and get as much value as possible. You might be able to use just a little bit for a small Lalo, but then you rely on these Baby Dragons to clear out the entire back end of the base. You then have a minion up at the top of the base there, forming out the funnel. Minions over on the left side as well. Getting all the trash clear on the outside that he can take out early without any threat to those minions. He's going to need another wall break up in the top corner, but small bombs take those wall breakers. And he's got the Tesla right there as well. Queen under a lot of damage goes to ability. Giant bomb goes off. She's going to go right under heavy damage again. He is again targeted. He tries a wall break over time. Misses the wall. Wait, uh, uh, I don't know. Is she going to go in or not? I don't think she is. I think she's going to keep on walking. He still might be able to work with that though. He has one more wall break attempt here. This one has to go through. He rages just to make sure he gets the CC pull. You'll engage the defensive queen here in just a moment. Lots of goblins, a witch, and a baby dragon coming out of there. That's not a problem. He'll even burn a freeze to make sure it doesn't overwhelm his queen without her ability. Let's throw the king down at the bottom here. I would like to see the king go inside of that compartment. But he can still pick up a bit from the outside with the help of the wizards reaching over the walls. Just don't pop your king ability. Don't surge him away from those wizards until you absolutely have to. Get the archer tower down. All right, king makes his way all the way through. If he can go all the way to the back to the outside here and clear some of the trash so we can get direct access into this air defense, that would be definitely helpful. But the queen was able to survive after taking out the defensive CC, clearing up the compartment, and getting the defensive queen down. He's still got his work cut out for him, but he's got one last air defense. He charges in a couple of balloons with a haste and a lava hound to quickly go in there and take that out there. The hound bursts. He does get the wizard tower down as well. And now it's down to the baby dragons. The queen is going to get engaged by the defensive king here, which is going to be the end of her. And he's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. All right. He's got a couple of uh, baby dragons left here, but... That one went way off the rails here. And these Expos are going to hold the line on this attack here. It's way too much damage output. He will be overwhelmed. I need the Queen to get this other Expo down. That would have been really, really helpful. But she she didn't want to play. She definitely did not want to play. It's a nice adjustment overall, though. It's not enough to pull it back. Final two minutes of the war. And Noob Scarlet is live. Charred. Will be coming in with a queen charge into miners. Now, miners, I, I say it a lot here every time we see these Talent 10 tournaments that miners do have a potential to struggle when you have these attacks with no siege machines because they don't get the base down fast enough a lot of times. They, you really have to be conservative with getting the miners moving relatively early, but then also keeping them alive. So the first thing we got to do is have the queen charge her way in to remove a full quadrant of the base. She needs to go all the way directly into the core. No walk in the edge there. Just punch directly in so she can move as fast as possible. Get the defensive CC down. And ideally, as many heroes as you can. Bomb towers are also ideal. Multi-infernos and single infernos are secondary because you can heal right through them. And the miners will duck underground to reset single infernos. So get the biggest threats out of the way here. Get him out of the way early. He's going to send in the wall break. He needs to raise that wall break if he actually wants to get it open. But he rages now. The queen has the support of the wizard as she can gauge the defensive queen. He's going to get that defensive king down. He's putting everything into this attack here. Going in with the town hall at the very end of his pathing. The queen gets the wall break. Transitions north. She can reach the town hall from that compartment. 
Giant pop. Zombies going off south. He needs to heal it. That's the first heal over the bump to, or the uh, the multi inferno as he gets stuck on the storage. Just there, the storage is surrounding the infernos are working to counter not only the progress of the miners as they make their way through those high damage areas, but it's also going to stop any zap value from being available around those infernos. I think he's maybe nah, his queen's gonna die here. Oh, don't die, queen. Sorry. It's a one star. It's a one star. Let's bounce over here. Stars is live at Town Hall 10. Stars is a world champion from the Queen Walkers playing in this Town Hall 9. Actually, Town Hall 10 competition. Starts in with some lightning onto the defensive queen in the middle of the base. Also tagging out an inferno with it. And now he'll start it with his heroes coming in opposite of the town hall to go fight the defensive CC and pick up as many of these air defenses as he possibly can get. The baby dragon forms the funnel. The wall break gets the king of the base there, maintaining the tanking in front of the queen. He does get this queen stuck on a defensive lava hound, but the king ends up breaking the wall there and is able to make his way forward. But the balloon on defense is going to do a lot of damage there. He's waiting until the, the hound pops and then he puts the poison down and he's able to power through. The queen's still alive and she should be able to handle that expo. I don't know how much she can get after that, but we are seeing Tessa's popping in that center compartment, filling in the gap where the lightning has already taken out. Did that one go for a one star? I can't tell. Um, not sure, not sure. Well, maybe it tripled. No, I didn't. <laughs> but the Hound is going to cross all the way to the right side of the base. He's got the heal spell as he moves through the multi-inferno. He's got more balloons uh, sending into the top right side of the base there as soon as he has those hounds arrive out of the air defense the multi-inferno goes down to the balloons there with the help of the heal spell and the haste will carry him back over to the expo and arch tower and stars will pull through the triple on this one let's go see the rest of the war let's go see what else is live we have klaus live in the middle here and it looks like klaus is able to pick up a lalo triple as well using the queen charge on this one and that will lock in this win 100%. Nice job, guys. That was a slaughter here. New Scarlet goes down. All right. So what is that? 14-star uh, war out of the Queen Walkers. New Scarlet. Scrabbles in with 10. Beg for mercy. 14 stars against the Queen Walkers with percentage advantage. Queen Walkers are out. Beg for mercy. Clean it. Huh? Oh, my God. Look at that score. African Genda is going to be taking on ooh, Team Yur. Able to lock in 14 to 14. Oh my gosh, that's a high scoring war there. Do you want to see African Genda versus Team Yur? I feel like that's the highlight match for the next round.